guys, it's Sheena with Teton Raptor Center and I'm here to give you all this week's patient updates. So let's go ahead and get started. Last week I mentioned that Great Horned Owl 1-8 got released and here is a video of him flying back out into the wild. Moving right along to our current patients, this is our most recent admission. It's Red-Tailed Hawk 226 and this bird comes to us from Lander, Wyoming. He was involved in a collision incident and luckily does not have any broken bones, but still has some head trauma that he's dealing with. He is living in the ICU at this time. However, we hope to be able to move him into the PCU next week. Next up is Bald Eagle 2-4 from Basin, Idaho. This is the bird that was illegally shot and had to have surgery to repair her right wing as a result. Um, the wing is healing really nicely and she's actually in a couple weeks gonna be getting a second surgery where we're gonna remove the pin. Um, right now we've been doing a lot of physical therapy and cold laser therapy, but once that pin is removed, we're gonna be doing a lot more rigorous physical therapy with her. Next is Great Horned Owl 1-6, and this is the bird that suffered major head and eye trauma when she came in. She'll never be able to see out of her right eye. However, she can fly really well, and as long as she is passing her live prey tests, she'll still be eligible for release. Here we have Bald Eagle 12-2 from Georgetown, Idaho. This bird will hopefully be able to move out into the flight barn next week. We had to delay it a little bit since she's still not eating on her own. We're hoping that once we get her into a bigger space, she'll be a lot less stressed and she'll be able to start self-feeding. Last but not least is American Kestrel 8-1, who is still hanging in there. Um, we can't release this bird until it is much warmer out, so she is overwintering with us still. Occasionally we go in there and we ask her to fly so that she is keeping up her energy levels and so that she doesn't get too out of shape. So far, so good. All right, that's all we've got for this week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed learning more about our birds. Remember that if you wanna do your part to help keep wild birds wild, you can check out our website at tetonraptorcenter.org and make a donation. Bye.